Alright, so let's do the startup procedure. First we go switch break country. Then we have a look at this shit. Uh, radar is in warm up mode. We have. Uh, and I completely forgot what the hell I was supposed to check on this side just because of that. Uh, metal brakes, ground, ground. That's good for now. Yeah, looks like we are fairly good to go at least, so. Uh, we'll turn on the console light and the dashboard lights just for the ease of it. And that should be good. Also, uh, S1 rockets should be the one I am looking for. Oh, and of course we need to turn on the pin. There we go. Some traffic, shooter, taxi. Not that there is that much of a traffic to speak of, but we need to go through the motions. After having flown the F5 for a bit, the MiG-21 is just being downright nasty. I can't really see why... Perfect, Fox 3. I can't really see why anyone would get the MiG-21 over the F5, but then again, uh, some people actually chose communism. So, there we have it. Either way, I am still getting used to this entire thing about using the airplane brakes. Oh crap, we have SAM launches. There is... Uh, Shooter reports enemy air activity near Greater Tum. Greater Tum air defenses are currently engaged. Not, the, not just engaged, they are really opening up on it too. So we need to be very careful as we approach our objective. In fact, I am actually keen on maybe even switching to air to ground weaponry. Uh, sorry, air to air weaponry, just to get through the self defense. Also, we should really, really get off the ground here. Uh, yeah, in fact, we are gonna switch to IR missiles and uh, keep that. Dodge 1 1, Overlord, Bra 328 4 110 at 24,000 flanking. Okay, so we need to move that thing. And then we need to lift the lock, then we need to visually confirm that wheels are up, then add the lock back, and there we go. All units be advised the Egyptian Air Force are operating fish beds in the AO at this time. We're gonna let the uh, Raider 2 bear defense take on the uh, whatever aircraft we got there, and we are gonna climb a bit. We can always already see the red smoke on the horizon. That should be the telltale sign of enemy activity. Using our Groms, it is my desire and hope that we can use it to engage and destroy possible enemy units um, in the harbor, namely a pair of submarines that Recon identified earlier. Any cap on station would be uh, nice to have some with me towards the 
the Iranian mainland. The current entry point would be close to Syria Island, the Great Thumb, and Abu Musa. Unfortunately, I'm engaged in combat. As long as you keep the Iranians busy, I don't really mind where you're doing it. Alright, so we're not getting any backup from the Americans on this one, it would seem. Uh, so we need to reacquire a visual on the target and climb a bit. Now the first thing we are going to do is we are going to turn on radar and we are going to turn on the narrow beam because the Glover missile is a beam fire, meaning that wherever we aim the radar the missile is going to hit. This is a, a ground system but when it comes to the Grom air ground missile it's a one that actually works surprisingly well. Uh, so we are switching our weapons to the S-24 weapons, since that is the preset that is... Dodge 21, Overlord, Bra, 330450 at 22,000 knots. Recon did not return any substantial air defense in the region. The Iranians are counting on uh, their aircraft to cover the area, meaning we need to keep our heads on a swivel see if we have anyone who actually wants to engage us. Part of the problem being that whatever Iranians are coming in might actually not be using their radars. They might be coming in with guns or keys. And uh, if they do, we will not have any warning. But then again, that's also why we make sure to listen to glorious messages of our AWACS. Alright, so I have the... Perfect Fox 3. I was gonna say a very possible body spike there, but I don't actually... I don't believe it. Especially not since uh, my radar warning system basically just up went quiet. Of course, that doesn't mean anything. Who is to say this thing actually got upgraded to detect that in the first place? Okay, so um, that's interesting. My, I actually do not see any submarines in the harbor. There should be some. Yeah, I see them now. And we are diving for the wrong harbor. We might want to correct that before we let loose with our rocks. Pipper on the top. Ah, crap, I fired both. Hit the target, please! Woohoo! Attack run complete, one submarine is ablaze. I shouldn't have fired both, but at least we made sure that the target was destroyed. We completely ensured the target's destruction. Let's talk to Magic and see what boom you know. Please repeat lost transmission. Dope. Strike package confirms that one Iranian Kilo class submarine has been destroyed. Well done. Alright, so we are. I just killed a MiG 21. I hope you are not. Sorry. 
depends on what colors it had on its body. No idea, it was a black dot. Fun anecdote, when you called Raygun, my RVR actually went crazy. And then the next second it went silent, so I was like, am I gonna call this in or not? Shooter, current status, 4 heat, uh, heading for Abamusa for reload. Let's have a... That's heading for... Affix heading for Abamusa to refuel. We have uh, Lesser Tomb beneath us. I suppose we could land at Raven Tomb, but at this point in time, I don't want to risk it. It's far too close to enemy territory for me to actually want to land there. Precis när jag skulle skjuta miggen så låste ett hawk-system på mig. Det var antagligen det du hörde också. This is the Egyptian Air Force. We only import Swedish truck and seat machine guns. We do not speak the actual language. Also, we call them Port Said. Shooter passing lesser top. Magic dodge one one. Request bogey dope. Airfix, did you capture uh, Magic's reply to my bogey dope? radio in this bird seems very finicky. It can't really decide if it should pick up a wax or not. Abamusa traffic, shooter approach, runway 08. in the MIG. I have never done this successfully. Never. So this is going to be very interesting. Air 
Airfix, you listen to Apple Box now? Copy that, Abu Musa traffic shooter final approach. Abu Musa traffic airfix inbound, runway zero eight. Okay, so they say you should land the MiG-21 fairly fast, so that is what we are going to try to do, and do not touch brakes or brake shoot until you actually have all four wheels squarely on the ground. So, anyone want to bet money on me actually doing this? Because I'm going to bet I won't. I think the instruction was something about never land under 300 kph or something like that. And at least that part we might actually get right. Speaking of that, there is a horrible... Ah, but with the traffic, uh, horrible crosswind. Please be advised. Over. Abum was a traffic shooter on the go around. Well, we didn't. Uh, we got a bogey coming, uh, 330 from Abumus. Copy, 330. Okay, so that means wheels up, weapons online. Abu Musa traffic, uh, landing gear seems to be jammed, cannot uh, assist the engagement of enemy. Well, this is just great. I was kind of hoping on making a decent landing where I did not damage my gear. Instead we end up in rather windy conditions. Also I just realized I had not actually unhooked my countermeasures which is frankly a weird thing. Uh, let's have a look on fuel status. Just below 2000 kilos. Dodge one one overlord. Two hundred kilos. Three four six four one hundred at eight thousand flanking. We are back in this little bit of a rain squall here, and needs to hit the deck on Amber Rosa fairly quickly now. Well, he seems to be clean. He should be clear to engage. Dodge one one, Overlord, bra three four six four ninety at eight thousand flanking. All right, we're coming in.
Amber was a traffic shooter coming in final approach runway 08. Wind appears to be going right to left. Airfix confirm wind right to left. Uh, they are quite a distance away, so you can probably land. Not having much choice of it. Shooter underground, battered but alive. Requirement 29 splashed. Shooter awaiting repair. 